Hi, I'm Dr. V, Chief of the Spine Pain Program at Bloor Pain Specialists. And today, we're going to be talking about cervicogenic headaches. How can radiofrequency ablation or pulsed radiofrequency help with treating cervicogenic headaches? There are many causes of headaches, um, and many of them are not from the neck. However, in some patients where they get uh, a pain right below the uh, uh, occiput, right at the top of the spine, uh, certainly worse with movement of their head, um, that could be an indication that uh, they have a cervicogenic headache. And so what we do here is we examine them and see if, uh, if, if that's the case. And uh, with uh, radiofrequency ablation, we're able to uh, modulate some of the nerves that might be causing that, as well as ablating the nerves to the joints. Uh, that might be an underlying cause of their headaches. Radiofrequency ablation is a general term that includes pulsed radiofrequency. The classic sense is to use high heat at the tip of a needle with a wire on the back end, transmitting that heat, and guidance with an x-ray machine, meaning that the specialist physician will use an x-ray to be able to see through the body, guide the needle in, and guide it to the edge of the bones so that we can target specific branches along the arthritic joints in the neck that go up the head. And we can heat up those branches before they make it up the head so that the signal is no longer being sent, no longer transmitting a, a sensation of pain in the skull or along the cranium so we don't have those headaches. Now, pulsed radio frequency is a different button on the same machine. It's a technical difference that allows us to change the signals that go through rather than just turning them off. Classic radio frequency, high heat, just turns off the signal in a branch. Pulsed radio frequency allows us to pulsate, da -da 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 little pulsations to reprogram the nerve roots so that they're, the input signal from the head and along those branches is downgraded as less important. The volume goes down when you pulse the roots, and that can limit the signals that people feel, reducing their pain and improving their headaches. So once somebody's had an ablation, it does take some time for the, the nerve to either uh, regrow or change its function. Um, and so I expect uh, several months of relief following this kind of procedure, hopefully at least six, and it's very variable. Some patients might experience a year. Um, but this procedure can be repeated if somebody has a recurrence again of that same pain. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. For questions about your care, contact the clinic directly.